Hey guys, welcome to the pilot episode of Z and Boomer. I am Z, and this is Boomer. And today we are going to be talking about different words that Americans tend to mispronounce that are Japanese. So, Boomer here is an expert in Japanese language and culture, so he will be helping us out today. So this is going to be a little video on、uh, pronunciation of Japanese words. Not all food related, but、uh, words that Americans use. This is a product that Americans often call mirin in their cuisine, in their attempts to cook Asian food. But the Japanese pronunciation is quite different. It says mirin. mirin. This is called mirin, not mirin. Okay? Mirin sounds like a hit from someplace up in the you know, hollers of someplace out in the back. Good old so, mirin. Yeah, so it's not mirin, it's mirin. One that That、um, I heard very early on was, was what's this one now? Hikaway Meru. Hikaway Meru. Now, how, what could that be? Hikaway Meru sounds like some kind of an Indian name, an American Indian name. But Hikaway Meru is what some American missionary who didn't know Japanese called the、uh, Hikawa Maru, which is the SS Hikawa. You know, it's a Japanese ship called the Hikawa. Maru refers to a ship, like steamship, SS, right?、Hmm. So, Hikawa Maru should not be pronounced Hikawa Meru. That turns it into a totally different language, all right? Now, what's this one here? The Subaru. Very popular car here in the US. Okay, Subaru. Okay, there is no such thing as a Subaru. It's Subaru. Subaru. Can you say that? Subaru. Subaru. It's not Subaru. There is no such thing as Subaru. You know, Japanese are very forgiving. You know, they, they look at Americans and inside they're, they're, they're thinking, what a, what a dweeb. You know, people are pronouncing that Subaru. There is no such thing. Baka jenai. Yeah, baka means fool in Japanese, right? So it's not Subaru, it's Subaru. And、uh, this one here at the top, what's that? Well, most Americans call that panko. Panko? What's、mm-hmm. panko used for? Panko is a term that we use for breading, which goes on different foods. Okay, well, it's not panko. It might look like that to an Englishman or an American, but it's panko. Panko comes from the Japanese word pan, which comes from the Portuguese word pan, which means bread.、Hmm. Okay, pan. Panko. It means a little crumblet of,、uh, of bread. So, panko. It's not panko, all right? Panko. There's, there's no such thing as panko, right? It's panko. Uh, so that's another one to learn. So you got Subaru is Subaru, Panko is Panko, Mirin is Mirin, and the Hikawa Meru. And the Hikawa Meru is Hikawa Maru.、Hmm. Now there's another one I remember from when I was a kid, and that is、um, kids, American kids would talk about how the Japanese would commit Harry Carey, okay? Harry Carey. Even I don't know whether is that some kind of celebrity? <laughs> Harry Carey. Harry Carey.、Okay. The, the, again, there is no such thing as Harry Carey. If you ask the Japanese whether Japanese people commit Harry Carey, they wouldn't know what that means. Of course, what Americans intend to refer to is the act of disemboweling oneself and the act of、uh, cutting their stomach open, right? That's,、uh, that's often called seppuku in Japanese. Actually, the word, the literal Word that the, that the Americans are trying to say is hara kiri. It's two words. Hara means stomach, kiri means to cut. So to cut your stomach is hara kiri, right? Hara kiri. It's not hairy carry, as some people have said. So anyway, I thought you might like to know that. It's hara kiri.、Uh, the more preferred word, though, the formal word is seppuku, which means、ah, to, to disembowel oneself, right? Okay, so what else have we got、We've、here? Got Honda, which is another type of car that Americans、oh, generally yeah, yeah. drive and mispronounce. Yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of these cars are mispronounced. But、um, basically, that's not too bad. Honda, you know, Americans want to say Honda, and, and Japanese people will probably understand what you're saying if、uh, they, they see you pointing at the car.、Right? Yeah. But it's Honda. 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 
。おお。<笑>おお、ホンダですか。そうですか。All right。ホンダですね。ホンダ。ね。And the same with Mazda, right? Mazda. It's it's not Mazda. It's Mazda. Mazda. Right.、Uh, what's this here? Oh. Karate. Karate. Okay, that's another one that's really abused. All right. It's not karate, but karate. Kara means empty. Te means hand. Te. Kara. Kara te. Kara te. It's not karate, okay? There is no such thing as karate in Japan. There's karate, right? Interesting. What else do we have here? We have ramen, which I've also heard mispronounced、oh, yeah. as ramen. Yeah, ramen or raw man or something.、Yeah. It sounds like you're eating, <laughs> cooking somebody and eating them. <laughs> Cannibalism is real. Yeah, no kidding. But it's, again, It's, the R may be difficult for some Americans to pr- pronounce.、Uh, it's ra, right? Ramen. 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 It comes from the Chinese lo mein, which means pepper noodles, right? Mein or men means noodles. And、uh, ra means pepper, right? Or lo in Chinese. I don't know. I think it's Cantonese, perhaps. I'm not、mm. sure. But it's a form of Chinese. And it's、uh, ramen. In Korea, they say.、Uh, Ramyeon, I think, or something like that. Again, I don't know Korean. <laughs> it's like the but, Italian、uh, version of ramen. Yeah, Ramyeon.、Right. Yeah, ramyeon. But、uh, it, in Japanese, it's ramen. Right?、Mm. Ramen.、Uh, unlike Chinese, Japanese is not an inflected language. So that there's no, it's not a tonal language as Chinese is, right? So it's just monosyllabic.、Hmm. Like it's Honda, not Honda. Well, you know, or. You know, you, you don't have to put an accent on any particular syllable, it's just monosyllabic. So it's not konnichiwa. Right, just konnichiwa, right?、Mm. Yeah. Konnichiwa.、Uh, let's see if there's one here. What's that? Umami? Umami, that's, that's not too badly mispronounced, not I think.、Usually. Umami. Not many people know what it means, though. Yeah, what does it mean? Umami is a specific flavor that Japanese food has. It's like a savory type thing,、yeah. I guess.、Mm-hmm. And it's very unique to Japanese cuisine. Now, they would probably say that what brings out the umami in food is、uh, what we sometimes call accent.、Hmm. You know, it's monosodium glutamate. Oh, <laughs> yes. Pe- people are freaked out by that. MSG. <laughs> MSG, the heck, yoga, you're going to die if you eat that. It is made from petroleum, which is kind of a petroleum product, which is kind of weird, but、uh, it's actually really good. It is. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's in a lot of Chinese food. I'm not advocating it, you know, if you have health reasons for avoiding it and so forth, but. It's、uh, umami is, is, a, is a savory flavor, right?、Mm-hmm. That a lot of things like soy sauce tend to bring out、yeah. in foods. I think that's all that we have on our list. Really? Is so, there any other word you can think of? There's lots probably we could think of, but what is this show going to be about? This is kind of a pilot, an experiment we're doing, but what would you say this show is about? Well, Zine and Boomer started when we thought. Hey, we talk about a lot of different things, so why not make a YouTube channel about it? Because, heck, <laughs> we talk all the time. So, literally, we're going to be talking about anything and everything. And from very different perspectives, because Z here is Generation Z, and I'm a baby boomer, so I'm boomer. Okay,、right? boomer. So, boomer was born in 1950, so he's 70, and, and、uh, Z here is, is,、uh, was born in 2005, right? I'm a mere child. So, she's a mere child of 16 years old, right?、So、Going、um, on 17. Yeah. But、uh, anyway, we hope to have a few more shows like this coming up.、Um, mm-hmm. We'll see what we can cook up. This was just kind of on a spur of the moment. But again, how do you say this now? How do you say this? Mirin. 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 Not Mirin. <laughs> Mirin lives in the Bat Hills, <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. Well, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching our first episode. Talk、Take、to you、care. later. Disemboweling oneself in the act of、uh, cutting your stomach open, right? That's,、uh, that's often called seppuku in Japanese. Let's talk about impalement. Impalement, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we're not going to say anything else about ourselves that would give too much away, where we live, you know, things like that. But, but we, we know, know where you live. But we know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> right? So,、uh, watch your back. All right?